situations. Now, I found out in my ministry it can be real hard because some people, if you try to pull them up, they'll try to pull you. So, so, so it's, it's important to understand that, that, that this situation is a pit. And so we are to extend our hand, and, and that hand has to have the word. I said, brother, you need the word. You, 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 you need the word. Now, now, what are those things that we need to be pulled out of? There are certain things that we, we need to be pulled out of. And I wish I had the time because that, that extends our longevity. L listen, we need to be pulled out by the word. In Romans chapter 1, starting in verse 29, there are 23 areas that he speaks about that we need to be pulled out of. And that's when I dealt with this number 23. It's, it, it's 23 distinct areas in those verses 29 to 32 that we, one of them, I'm going to just name a few of them, one of them is wickedness. We need to be, and that's our job as extending our hand as pastors and ministers with the word to pull out of wickedness or give you an enlightenment how you can come out of some given situation because a lot of people don't even realize that they're in things until light a light is shined on them and, and, and we are to 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 magnify that light where, where where you are able to be lifted up or delivered from a given situation that would ultimately cause you harm. When, 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 when I mention it, most people, I, I, I see that in our area of prosperity, you see a lot of people, uh, uh, you know, and I, I tell my church this time, and we, we have an exercise program, and, and my wife, Ann Smith, has a beautiful process in terms of, of, of diet, things, certain things that you eat that would keep you healthy. And we see our people, that, uh, a lot of them are, are overweight, and, 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 and that leads to areas that, that, that will cause uh, uh, detrimental problems along the road. Again, might be sugar, might be high blood, it might have... All of those things cause a, a, a effect on our longevity when we are outside of God's will. It, it, it's an order... It, it's, it's, it's wonderful to understand the will of God. Now, listen to this careful. There are certain things logical that I know that's not God's will for my life. I, I, I realize that, 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 that there are laws that we have to be governed by to keep us in God's will. That's one of the reasons why preachers or pastors are to shed that light in order for you to stay in the will of God. Now, it doesn't take a rocket science to figure out that if I get up on top of this building and go and jump off and hit that hard concrete, that there's something bad is going to happen to me. You, that's a governing law, gravity. I'm going down. So, so, so I understand. So I don't need, I, I realize that and I don't have to do that to understand that it'll hurt me. The reason why I know because I've seen so many people that who didn't know God's law or didn't abide by it, jumped off and it ended their life. So I don't have to take a gun, put it up to my head and pull the trigger to find out whether or not that that will kill me. Those are governing laws of, 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 of physics to help me understand that. Say amen. amen. So, 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 greed, envy, murder, deceit, malice, gossip, slander, arrogance, 
all those are evil spirits that will hinder our process in longevity. Amen. Now, in Psalms 90, 10, Psalms 90, 10, it says, and it, I, brothers, I choose to believe God's word in spite of how other people interpret and so on. And you know, the system that we are living in now is just God's word is sort of not holding fast to a lot of folk. We want to change and so on. But God's word is specific. Listen to what he says. He said, the days of our years are three score years and ten. Three score years and ten. Now, I choose to believe that. Any argument that might be presented to me, I choose to believe that God promised me 70 years. I, I, I hear so many people say, you know, tomorrow is not promised to you. Yeah, if you're doing a living outside of God's law, then tomorrow is not promised. It's not promised to you. But, but, but I choose to believe if I abide and strive to, 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 to walk in the will of God, that then God will allow the process or his anointing to protect me and keep me to live out my days. Now, Listen to what he says here now. He said, now, I, I, I promise you seven years. Now, and, and I'm going to speak that in all of you all. Like, that's an automatic promise. You, you, God promised you 70 years. Yes. Any debate or argument about that, you just, I truly believe the word. He said, 70 years. Mm -hmm. Now, listen to what he says. He goes on down to say, and if by reason of strength, full scope, we, we, we've seen some people that who have lived in their hundreds. We, uh, Dick and Robinson was 98, yeah. 98 years old. And, and those are the reports that I choose to believe that because we live in an environment so where we see people at a young age yeah. that who are dying. I, I, I'm on a funeral home, and I'm disturbed by people that, I'm talking about in their 50s, yeah. 60s, that, 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 that because of what I feel, and that can be an argument, that really don't take care of itself like they should, of, of the process of eating right and so on, high blood pressure, sugar, diabetes, strokes, and so on. These are younger people. Yeah. Now, now, I feel that they are prematurely because of not operating in the purpose and will of God. Because whenever, again, whenever you are outside of that purpose, then you are not able to stay covered with his anointing. Yes. Now, it goes on to say, by reason. Now, there are some reasons why people die. That's right. Amen. That, that, there's a reason why things happen. Yes. I believe that if a person lives to be 70 years old, they should have learned some sense. <laughs> Come on with it. <laughs> That's right. They, 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 they should have learned some sense. That's right. Reasoning can come by experience. Yes. You know, I remember when I was a, 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 a young young man, a fella told me, say, 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 pick up that beat. Big old walls, and I reached and grabbed that beat, and I got stoned. It, it was the reason because I. Now after that experience, I I, I never did that anymore. Hmm. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So so it's, it's it's an important thing for us to have reasoning by our experience, prolong the process. Yeah. We are out of time, but I thank you for listening. If you want to hear. This sermon, in its entirety, you can go to adjesus.com and type in the sermon number 6316. We thank you for joining us at Brothers 
of the word because brother, you need the word. Of the word, when the voice of God is heard, brothers of the word, there's a word from God for everyone. Brothers of the word, because brother, you need the word. Brothers of the word. Brothers of the word.